Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. Uh, got a little tip today. Um, it's for using flexi sign and perf cutting. Um, perf cutting is basically uh, doing pop out decals and whatnot um, using flexi sign and uh, Graph Tech, the FC8600, and the Vinyl Express, uh, the Q series cutters. Um, you have the option to do these uh, perf cut pop out decals. Um, when going through when we were trying to learn all this, uh, for whatever reason, they had double cut lines and contour cut lines and all that other stuff. Um, we found a way that uh, it basically eliminates all that stuff. Uh, you cut one time uh, with a perf cut setting on these cutters. And um, stick with me. I'm going to show you how we do it. For now. So in Flexi, these decals are already set to contour cut. Um, zoom in here and you can see this thin gray line that is actually my contour cut when i go in ungroup um shows these lines these paths i know that these are already cut lines because we've done these files hundreds of times before so the only thing that you need to really remember for a perf cut is just to have a contour line you only need one you don't need multiple contour cut lines for what I'm going to show you how to do and this is very easy so that being said select all go back and I'm going to send these to the printer make sure that my profile I actually set these on a uh, on a very low profile this is actually my banner profile their decals uh, 540 by 720 high speed just they print a little bit faster um, and my registration marks are the GraphTech 4 point type 1 and I have it set as mark length as 0.5 which is a half inch my thickness is 0 0.025 and then my margin is 0 0.075 which I've never had a problem with um, cutting my stuff with those settings so that being said um, the other thing that I double check is my driver options my cut contour um, this will kind of override, the cutter will override um, the setting just because uh, of the condition that is in the cutter the way that this cuts. So, but the main thing I want to do is print and then I want to send the contour as a separate file. So that being said, we're going to send this and it should be good. There's the print, and we're going to let it sit for a little bit before we laminate it, and then we'll come back and uh, we'll go over that real quick. All right, so now we get the laminate out. I'll let you guys in on a little secret here. See that company? Look them up. Made in the USA. Distributed out of North Carolina and California, I believe. Free two day FedEx shipping on their material. And it's unbranded on the back. It's great for a calendar. The application, you know, cheap stuff. I guarantee you're not going to find anything less expensive than the other big boy brands, the other three majors, Orcal, Avery, or 3M, compared to the quality of the stuff. 
And this one actually has the air release and that's basically all that we use for 95% of, uh, of all of our decals and sign applications. So. Substanceincorporated.com. Look them up. It's great stuff. Been using it for, I don't know, four years. And uh, knock on wood, they've been great to deal with. No middleman. Uh, you don't need any special license or requirements or anything like that. As long as you got money, go online, you order the, uh, the material, and uh, come through the door in about two days. So we've been happy with it, extremely happy with it. So I'm just going to use the big squeegee, the mini big squeegee. These did Make sure that the laminate covers all your crowd marks and I've got about a half maybe three quarters of an inch of um, printed material underneath here so it'll actually grab a hold when I push so let's see what I'm doing here take my geek wrap felt squeegee get underneath the laminate get a little corner here you want to go pretty fast Another must have, Swiffer. trick to the big squeegee is the surface that you're laminating on has to be perfectly flat. It cannot have ridges, bumps, dips, divots, nothing like that. It has to be perfectly flat in order for it to work correctly. A little bit of pressure in the center. I'm done. And I always save my laminating backing. That's what I ship my other signs. So that. If you ever have a need for that, the big squeegee. The reason that I like these geek wrap squeegees is because this Teflon does not scratch the, uh, the laminate. It's actually, I'm not sure what's in it or what it does, but I use this edge to make sure that Get majority of it down. It's going to silver a little bit, but you know these are decals. Not true. It'll settle down and uh, go from there. This is kind of loading, like I said, we'll uh, get set up. All right, so that's all set. Let me show you something that's really, really important, important when we do this. So in Flexi, I have this set up. Where's it at? So here so here's my cut file from flexi and this is nothing but just a regular contour cut line there's nothing special there's no dashes you just go into flexi as you normally do when you're doing a decal it just has a normal contour cut around it so you're right there that's it so when you're setting this up to perf cut the most important thing is I followed all of these instructions which really don't mean anything but this this is all that matters so on your cutter hopefully you can see this 
So I'm going to have a preset condition, which is condition 8. See it down here, condition 8. See that? See the cutter move forward. So it's already in place. Take the blade holder out and put it in the front part so it'll actually do the perf cut. Now I'm going to show you my conditions for this. And so we go to condition. And the most important thing, you can see speed force. Speed actually shouldn't be that fast. So, um, but the main thing is the force. I'm actually going to turn this down a smidgen. So now I'm back to 30. So anyway, okay. So the other important thing is the number two, the cut line pattern. That tells it how much to cut, how much to lift. And so I'm going to show you these settings. And this is what I found that works best with an intermediate vinyl and a gloss laminate. So it's telling you it's going to cut 0.315 of an inch, and then it's going to come up 0 0.008 of an inch. So the up is the spacing, is the paper and the laminate and the media that it's going to leave. The cut is what it's going to cut into the material. So as long as you have that stuff set, that's pretty much all that you need. Um, so I'm going to go back out, cancel, go back to my condition. And the other important thing to remember is you need to have a 60 degree blade, which I have one sitting here. Back this all the way out. Important thing is make sure that the correct blade is in the correct spot in the blade holder. Cinch it down. Now that that's ready to go, so now we're going to mark it over our and you can kind of see that. It's, it's right there in the where it should be, just like you normally would during a contour cut. So with that being said, and my condition is eight, I'll go back over here to Flexi. And where it's holding my normal contour path, I'm going to send it. Okay, yep, got all that. Here we go. reading the crop marks as it normally would. And magic. Watch. Hear that? I probably could have turned the speed up a little bit on this just because uh, it looks a little slow to me, but um, the slower the cut, the more precise it is. Um, and this is not perfect by any means, but this is so much easier to do than weeding and masking and all that other good stuff. So.
does take a little bit more time, but this sure beats weeding and masking. Drag decals.